a 30 years old lady who smokes heavily present with recurrent episode of infection in the right breast on examination he she has a indurated area in the lateral aspect of the nipple areolar complex imaging shows no mass lesion so all the points are important so what is the most likely diagnosis here the options options are the ductectasia peritactal mastitis passet disease of the nipple monroe's disease of the breast and radical scar so what may be the option of the patient that means a 30 80 years old uh, first of all the first point uh, she is a smoker second of all infection of the right breast but on examination there is the nipple areolar complex impact that uh, intact that means lateral to the nipple areolar complex that means when a breast there is nipple areolar complex uh, complex and when there is the uh, here this area actually the indurated area develop and uh, she gives frequent history of the infection of the right breast now see uh, first of all let's see the peridectal mastitis it is most common in the smoker another one is the duct ectasia so duct ectasia and peridectal mastitis they both are common in case of the smokers and may present with the recurrent infection so the peridectal mastitis is usually present with recurrent mastitis uh, recurrent infection then duct ectasia it also present a recurrent infection and treatment usually with the co club on the other hand the mondros disease it is the another disease which is the thrombophilobitis of the breast vein which is the superficial vein so mondros disease is the another entity which is the superficial thrombophilobitis of the breast vein here we can see a normal breast and abscess formation this is a normal duct and periductal mastitis it occurs periduct that means the around the duct that means the outside the duct but duct ectasia which is different duct ectasia occurs within the duct so periductal mastitis the abscess or the inflammation it occurs outside the duct here we can see the um, abscess formation and there the creatine plaque present and always the squamous metaplasia occurs and sometimes there may be fistula develop so duct another one is the duct ectasia so peridectal mastitis it is the inflammation and this inflammation present outside the duct on the other hand the duct ectasia ectasia means the dilatation so what is duct ectasia duct ectasia is the dilatation of the terminal breast ductile it is three centimeter of the nipple that means very close to nipple there is dilatation of the milk duct and it is common with increasing age and also it has association with smoking and it present with nipple retraction and occasionally creamy nipple discharge may be confused with periductal mastitis so, so this point is very very important that ductectasia and periductal mastitis the both two occurs in increasing age when age is more second one it is common in case of the smoker and third of all it occurs the duct or milk duct but in case of the duct ectasia the pathology is within the duct for this condition there is different type of secretion through the duct this is the differentiating point that the secretion occurs in duct ectasia through the lactiferous duct or terminal breast duct but in case of the peridactal mastitis there is not such type of secretion actually there is the abscess formation and bust of the abscess sometimes occurs here in this picture they are showing the this is the normal duct and in case of the dilated duct or duct ectasia they are the lumen of the duct which is increases that means the diameter of the duct increases that means there is the dilatation of the milk duct here we can see these are the duct which is the uh, a smaller but in this duct this is the dilated duct which is known as the duct ectasia and the duct ectasia which present younger women actually it is less common in younger women the vast majority occurs in smokers in periductal mastitis so duct ectasia it presents uh, younger women also the uh, old age also 
and the vast majority which is the smokers also the peridectal mastitis it also occurs in the smokers the peridectal mastitis typically present with peri areolar or sub areolar infection and which may be recurrent so the difference from the ductectasia and the peridectal mastitis the peridectal mastitis the infection occurs around the nipple areolar complex outside the nipple areolar complex but in case of the duct ectasia it usually present in the nipple areolar complex and what are the treatment option the in case of the duct ectasia the treatment option is micro docectomy in case of the young and in case of the older it is the total duct excision and here we can see this is the Monroe's disease. Monroe's disease, it is the thrombophilipitis of the superficial vein of the breast. Here we can see this is the Monroe's disease. So what is our answer? Our answer is the peridectal mastitis. Why, peridec why peridectal mastitis? The first point is the old lady, 38 years old lady. Second point, she is a smoker. Then third point, there is the a recurrent episode of the infection so this three history is enough uh, almost enough to diagnosis of the peridectal mastitis but now we have to see this secretion if there is secretion then it is the duct ectasia or when this is not secretion through the nipple then it goes to peridectal mastitis and when, when examination done there is the nipple areolar complex there is lateral to nipple areolar complex that means it is the outside of the nipple or areolar complex so when there is outside of nipple areolar complex in this condition this is the peridectal mastitis but in case of the duct ectasia as the pathology in the duct so there will be secretion through the nipple and imaging show no mass so as it is no mass that means it is not any type of the carcinoma so our answer is the peridectal mastitis it is not the duct ectasia because in duct ectasia there is definitive discharge present and discharge may be creamy uh, creamy discharge and may be different color uh, present other option here such as the Paget's disease of the nipple Paget's disease of the nipple is not also true Paget disease of the nipple it occurs in the nipple areolar complex but in this condition the underlying tumor may be present and the Monroe's disease the Monroe's disease is the thrombophilipitis of the superficial vein of the breast and the radial scar it is also not true because the scar they are different from the others and there should no have the smoking history or any type of the history.